Excuse me, is this the train to sell shoes? Yes sir, you've got a few minutes before it leaves. If I were you, I'd hurry up. Thank you. Right away Mr Jones, everyone's on board. Okay. Steam engine of the day, Joe. Yeah. You look, you got that way, Jason. I wonder if there'll be any more. Let's hope so, Joe.
I'm just wondering if you can help me, sir. I'm looking for Mr. Brimmer, the station master. Oh, yes, he'll be over there in his office. Last door on the right. Thank you very much. Station Master Brimmer? Yes, that's me. I'm Robert Hunter. I'm from the Home Office. Uh, I have a little bit of news for you. Oh, in that case, come into my office. Have a seat, Mr. Hunter. Thank you. So, What's the good news? I understand you have an official opening of the station in a couple of days. Yes, that is correct. The good news is Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth would like to open the station officially as she has heard of the great work and restoration that has been carried out on the station. That is great news. We will do everything to accommodate Her Majesty. I will leave the arrangements in your capable hands, Station Master. I will catch the next train back to London to confirm with Her Majesty. Oh, you have 15 minutes. Would you like a cup of tea? That will be great. Why we'll de discuss all the arrangements. Meanwhile, outside, the green menace was listening to all that was being said and then he was going to work out how to disrupt the plans of the grand opening. <laughs> how will I disrupt the grand opening? <laughs> well that's my train, I must be off. It sure is, it's the 10.15 to London. And thanks again for letting us know in person about the uh, the royal visit. And uh, mum's the word. Yes, hush, hush. As the train departs for London, Station Master Brimmer starts making phone calls to organise the grand opening. Ring 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 New Hustle Depot, Chazzy Bay speaking. Hi Chazzy, it's Station Master Brimmer over at South Shields. I was wondering if you can help me out. Ah, what is it you need? I need some champagne and some bunting, urgently. Ah, it just so happens we've had some champagne to arri arrive today. And we've got the bunting on the truck already. Oh, that's great. When can you deliver? Well, we're fairly busy at the moment. As you can see, the yard, shunt, lots of shunting going on. So hopefully we can deliver by the end of play today. Oh, that'll be great. What do you need the bunting for? 
Ah, that's a bit hush hush. A bit hush hush? Yeah, don't say anything. But the Queen's coming in a couple of days for the grand opening. Hey George, we need to get the champagne and bunting over to South Shields sometime today. Oi aye, no problem.
Ew, I wonder what all this lot's for. Looks like bunting and champagne, Mr. Brimmer. Ah, good. I knew Chazzy B wouldn't let me down. I see we have the ceremonial scissors, Mr. Porter. Yes, sir. Make sure you guard them with your life. We'll need them for the grand opening. Right, lads, let's unload the wagon. We've only got two days to prepare. The station for our royal guest. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, champagne and a golden pair of scissors. <laughs> well worth the snatching. Great work. That didn't take long, lads. We'll just call it a day. Where do you want the champagne, Mr. Brimmer? Well, we can put that in the refreshments room. As for the scissors, you better keep a hold of them. And first thing in the morning, we'll start hanging the bunting. Because we've only got a couple of days. So, let's go down the pub. What will it be? Well, I think we'll go down the northeast end. First round's on me. Great job, lads.
I shall pick my moment very carefully. <laughs> Morning Wally, how's it going? Morning Mr Brimmer, that's the last piece of bunting to go up. That's great. Her Royal Highness has left Windsor at 6 o'clock. She'll be due in round about 10 o'clock. Morning Mr Easton. Morning lads. Any last minute details? No, it's all done. Everything is ready. Everything in its place. Red carpet's down. The blue ribbon is waiting to be cut. Isn't it exciting, Edith? We're going to meet the Queen. Yes, it is. It's really exciting. I hope there's some drinks in it for me. They surely will be, Mrs. Sims. Let me wipe the sweat from your brow. There's no need to panic. Everyone's in their place. Everybody knows their job. Yes, I know. But you can't help panicking. We have to keep Platform 1 clear. All passengers must arrive on Platform 2. Right away, sir. Morning, John. Morning, Tony.
Meanwhile, back at the railway station, PC Ventress talks to Station Master Brimmer. Morning, Constable. Morning, Mr. Brimmer. I've just had work from the Nick. How that? The Green Menace has been sighted in the area. Oh, OK. Thanks for warning us. But I'm sure you've got plenty of officers uh, in and around the station. Yes, Bill, we have. But uh, I just thought I'd give you a fair warning. Oh, thank you, Constable. I'm glad we caught that last train to sell shields. I mean, look. Two for the price of one. That's a brilliant idea, John. Sure is, Jason. Now's my chance. I will pinch the scissors so they can't open the station officially. <laughs> That was a snip. They've got no chance of catching me now. <laughs> oh no, someone's pinched the ceremonial scissors. What am I going to tell Mr. Brimmer? Mr. Brimmer, Mr. Brimmer. Stop panicking, Porter. What's the matter? Someone's pinched the scissors, the ceremonial scissors. Oh no. What are we going to tell Her Majesty? Well, well, well then. So when was the last time you saw the scissors? They were on the trolley. I only placed them there for a minute. Hmm, this sounds like the work of the Green Menace. I'll have to get to on the blower to the station. Hello, Your Majesties. I hope you've had a pleasant trip. Yes, we did, thank you. It was rather pleasant. Would you care to give a speech, Your Royal Highness? Of course I shall. Ladies, gentlemen, station master and staff, we are gathered here to witness the grand opening of South Shield Station. And God bless all the people who travel to and from this station. 
Right. Who has the scissors? Porter, did you find the scissors? No, no, I didn't. I don't know where they are. Stop panicking. Has one found the scissors yet? Just hold on, Your Majesty. We're still looking. And a voice from above says, Can I be of assistance? You can use mine. Thank you. I now declare this station officially open. Thank you. Hooray, 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 hooray. Would you care to have a look around the station, Your Majesties? Yes, of course. Show me round, please. Your Majesty, I'd like to introduce you to Bert, Tony Northeastern, the two old grey twins, and Mrs. Sims. Oh, and Wally, he's forever cleaning windows, and. Hmm? Mm. Bean. Bean. My name is Bean. This is our refreshments room where we have some champagne on ice if you'd like to try some. Ooh, rather! Sometime later the Queen and Prince Philip had other appointments. The next appointment was to the town hall. Is that our transport? Hick. Some time later, Her Majesty and Prince Philip had another appointment to the local town hall. Here is your transport, Your Majesty.
Oh, and Wally, you stop cleaning the windows now, the Queen's gone. Yeah, but you know me, I like to keep these shiny. What are we going to do with all this champagne, Bert? Uh, I think we should go in the refreshments room, lock the door and have a lock in. That sounds like a good plan, Mr. Brimo. Don't worry about the scissors, Porter. The police will deal with him later. Cool, look at Mr. Sims, dancing on the luggage trolley. Gosh, she's had too much already. Boy, what a day. <laughs> I think I've got away with it. 